Hello, I'm John Emmerich, and I'd like to show you how I use the Big Orchestral Marching Band Expansion Pack for BFD2 and the Trap Cat from Alternate Mode as a composing tool for drum corps style parts. Now this is a really cool way to do this and it, it serves a couple of purposes. A, the fact that I'm playing it with sticks is going to make it a lot more musical than if I'm just using a mouse to click it into a grid. And another aspect of doing it this way is you're actually creating parts that people can then play because you've already done it once. So let's take a look at how you put this together to create a drum corps style part. Okay, as you can see, BFD2, I've already got my drums loaded up into the slots that I want to use. So I'm going to go to the grooves page. At this point, go ahead and select a new groove. Zoom it out a little bit. And you can see that it's already set for a 16 bar duration. Now this will be fine for what we're going to do right now. We're just going to go ahead and create a 16 bar loop, if you will, of drum core style parts. Put enough loops together and you've created your drum core parts. So, first thing we do, we've got loop playback enabled. I'm going to go ahead and, and arm the recording process. And I've already told BFD2 to give me one bar count off. So here we go. At this point, I stop playing and it's still going because we've enabled the loop function. Cool. Let's go ahead and add some tonal bass drums. drums. At this point I'm going to turn the record enable off because I want to just try to play with some quad toms and come up with a cool part. That. So all I need to do is slip it back into record. I've got my quad parts. that simple to put together in a groove.
Now that occupies just one groove spot within the BFD2 groove engine. You can go ahead and start with a fresh clean one and then you can use BFD2's tools and start interchanging parts from different grooves, moving things around. Also to draw your attention to the left hand side of the gear, you have the different actual tools themselves, roll, velocity, mute, erase, draw, and select. Very cool. All you need to do with this then is go ahead and put the parts into the exact spots that you want them, at which point you could drop it into a program like Finale, Sibelius, something like that, and actually print out the parts. Another really cool function and very unique to the BFD2 system is you can go to the mixer page, record enable the master, go up here. I've already decided I'm going to set this on my desktop. The name of the file will be drum parts. It's going to be a 16-bit wave. All I have to do is hit the export button in free mode, hit the space bar, and print out an audio copy of the parts. So if you have students that need to learn your parts, you can go ahead and print out your actual parts of music, but then you can also give them an audio example which will come up in any default player on your computer. So that's a very cool way to put together these parts, and I encourage you to check out the products from fxpansion.com and alternatemode.com. Once again, this was the BFD2 Big Orchestral Marching Band Expansion Pack and the Trap Cat.